I did a lot of uh, pre-work because it took me over two hours when I timed it doing myself, so uh, it's kind of complicated to me, but maybe not everybody else here. So I got the layout here. So the bigger diameters here is going to be the lid, and then the smaller circles on the bottom are the bottom. So after you get it turned around, when you have it in between centers, you're going to get your uh, tool rest here to draw a straight line across. And that's going to be your center line for both of your circles. Can you see the top? Or? Okay. So after we, we uh, get it all marked up, put it in between centers, and you're going to measure down. Uh, First, you're going to cut tenons. So, on your lid side, she calls it the, the blue spot. You're going to cut a tenon down to your blue circle. And then on the bottom, you can see, you know, there's not one that big, so you're just going to make this tenon about the same size as the blue tenon, just so you can shrug it. And then you're going to measure down an inch and five eighths and part this off. So that's where I am here. So we're going to make it a box first. We're going to glue it together. We're going to do our, our taper. And the reason why you make it a box first is so you don't lose the width of your lid. You would turn it first at an angle, then you would lose a lot of it. So this way, you keep more and more of the wood. So.
Somehow he would stay on the inside of this. He's obviously he's uh this is a North Shire grid. Another tool about Jason Breach, he does a lot of boxes. So you can get this whole kit online for how much? 130. Yeah, 130 bucks, I think it was, for all three of these tools. Uh, this I don't use, you know, if you do a lot of boxes, this would come in handy. And I like this little skew, it's got a round edge. This has got a hollow grind here, and then this point here. So when I do my lids, this is how uh, I was shown in Kentucky from Jason and Bridge when we did the classes. Make my little stuff there. start at the bottom and you want to pull this and just have constant pressure. It's pretty good, just a little bit in the back there. Any questions so far? What's the diameter of the hole? The diameter is an uh, inch and a half, and it's on that form there.
have to leave this a little thicker too because instead of doing a jam shock, I don't like doing that. I'll put this in my uh, my regular shock and wrap a little anti-skid piece around it. It looks really good. We want to make sure this is flat here. All right, I'm going to call that good. So now we're going to put some CA glue here. We're going to cut this piece of paper towel around and put it in there. So what we're going to do is, it's sitting in there like this now. So you see a glue, paper towel, glue this back together, and then we're going to get a spindle gouge, and we're going to cut this groove in here. And that's what gives us that. That way it'll pull back apart at the end. So now I'm putting the bottom down of this end. And uh, she uses half inch dead centers. I got these robust uh, Christian ones that are half inch. I don't think you can use anything bigger because it won't, you won't get any bite on the bottom tenants.
Okay, so there's uh, diameter of the second one to the last here. I'm going to turn this pen in down, down to that one. And then we're going to reduce the bulk here. And then we'll start our uh, our outer turning. I'll stand our turning. Shield up, but I'll wait till we get it wobbling here. I'm not worried about you guys. Now I'm going to turn it down to the very, uh, the very last circle here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to turn from this tenon to that tenon, and that's going to give us our, our triangle.
So to get our, our angle here, we're going to get my ruler. There it is. So we want this pendant and this pendant about the same distance.
So we also want to kind of keep this where it's touching here and here. Want to kind of have a straight line there, a little higher in the middle there. I'll leave that. Can you see that, Steve? We're, we're touching here and here. A little bit of a hop. I'll try to get out there, but I'll move on. Don't, don't move your tool rest. I've done that two or three times. That's all that good, but right now we can kind of see the triangle there now. What you want to do here, you want to kind of just come in here and go to that line on each side. And just kind of, kind of work that in until you get this.
I didn't take a block of wood and kind of square that up. The 
stuff you put under a carpet so it doesn't stick. Before you do the all center, we should have like turned this down smaller so we don't have all this wood out here, but not not the end of the world.
kind of different odd sorts of things you do, the better turner you're going to become. So uh, doing stuff in a demo like this hardly ever comes out as a finished project <laughs> that, you, you're, that you're really proud of and you want to give to somebody or sell or whatever. But that was, that was a great demo. But, you know, we didn't have the triangles, you know, I got a cast, but you can always do different stuff and, you know, I do that. So. It's good. It is. It's good. All right.